I don't know how the transportation situation that you're in, um, but uh, I strongly suggest, you know, you you get out and you, you don't have to drive. I mean, you can get on interstates, but that causes more, you know, responsibility with the brain and your thinking can't really be there. And right now, I mean, look, I'm driving through the, I'm in the battlefield next to my house. And, my whole point is, is I've already seen some deer, shit like that, and it's just, there's no cars around, and there's no TV, there's nothing, you know. <clears throat> so it helps me to reflect on the day. If I'm trying to get better, I have to look at myself. And if I start learning how to look at myself at the end of each day and go in reverse in that day, uh-oh, it's fixing to be bright. And I can go in reverse in, in the day, you know, and look and see if I need to, God almighty. It's bright. But it's, you know, you get made fun of when you try to do something, when you try to get better, people in their world, they're more f***ed up than you are. But when you say, look, I'm, I've am i got to do some shit, man. i got to go. I thought you already went to counseling. If you go to counseling, or they'll say, well, don't you go to therapy? That's just once or twice a week. You don't need to do that. And then you got, see what I mean, how they're going to drag you down? And it's like, listen. The, the people don't understand that this is an everyday process. And if somebody is not seeking that that's around you, they ain't going to fall in line. Hell no. If they're used to go, 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 I'll, I'll never forget it. I got in trouble. And my dad, who, you know, who give anything to help me, well, back then, um, but... He knew a lot of connections in Atlanta and then ended up helping me set me up in an apartment down there in Atlanta. And um, I was around 21. And let me tell you something right now. And see, going down there to look at apartments in, in Roswell, you know, I I remember going to look at apartments and my mind was on, you know, where's the closest bars, you know, uh, of Charlie's, Brick Oven Grill, all these different places. And then how far is uh, Buckhead, how far is... Uh, Alpharetta, how far is Marietta Parkway, because I had a buddy going to life chiropractic and all this stuff, and where's the strip clubs, you know, that's the impulse, and uh, it doesn't matter if people graduate out of that impulse, uh, you know, in their tw 20s and now in their 40s, um, some people grabbed very serious fucking problems from all that shit, like hardcore alcoholism. And the other ones can just be like, I don't know why you can't just be normal. And see, do you see what I mean? But my whole thing was, is I was, I had geared myself in the wrong fucking direction. Because when I seriously moved to Atlanta is when I started dealing big time. Yeah, so it was, it's just not good. And that nightlife, it's just, you know, and that's the whole thing is, is, is people think that they just go to a fucking therapy or go to a meeting and that's it. And that's, let's go fuck off and do some shit. And then if you're around people who frown on you giving time to getting better, that shit's only going to get worse with them. I know I might be a little all over the place, but I'm trying to make sense because I'm all fucked up right now. I'm going through some shit. You know, but that experience going to Atlanta had to happen in the journey for me to be here where I'm at right now with no regrets whatsoever. Just nothing but humility. It's all building stones. Because along the way, I sent, there's a lot of people who died. I mean, how many of y'all that's been next to you, whether your family knows them or not, that's literally been around you and they're gone? You know, <clears throat> a lot of that drains you too. Because fuck, some of us, it should have been us. You know. That's what I'm saying is, is some of these people don't know how much we've actually hidden from them either. So they really don't have a clue of how fucking out there you are.
And then if you even tell them, just like the doctors and the doctor's notes and the analyze and shit, like they've been like, subject said he drinks 60 beers a day. We'll say 16. It's like even when you tell the truth, they still put down a fucking lie. So if you tell your family, you know, because I mean, it's like them Roxies, them 30s, dude, you know, when you hear people literally getting 300 MGs off the rip before two hours is even up, that's fucking insane. The pills of pain, yeah, that's, I'm trying to hint around and uh, people that just take them normally have no idea that their whole anatomy has been designed around that garbage and if they they'll have they have trouble with it anyways but at the same time it's um it's the heavy use so if the heavy use of anything is going to be there then the heavy input that we're going to have to do damn there's a shit ton of deer out here right now then we're going to have to start doing the daily input put of thinking. There ain't nothing like thinking of, of how much of a piece of shit you were or when or what. And then facing that shit. People will say, take it to the grave. Hell no. That's the worst thing you can do. Even when we die, I'm going to put another dip in. I actually busted that one a while ago. But when we die... It all goes with us. So it doesn't matter if you don't face it here. You're going to face it over there. Actually, I didn't. That was a shit one. So, you know, wouldn't, don't you want to have, like, peace within yourself? And see, and that's the thing, too, is, is even if you get out and you go fucking do you, you always got to go back. You got to go back to that negative fucking energy. And I know you love them. Trust me. I know you love them. But you got to get prepared. You know, because you're the one that's the dummy. Although they are. And you're the one that's got to show humility and look like the dummy. I've learned that. I've learned this Arimonic spirit that's within all of us. And it truly is. And you have to show humility. God almighty. That's the deer. It's just, uh. You know, it's just getting, it's getting outside of yourself. And saying, I, you know, I, I, whatever I've done hadn't fucking worked. And you're going to find out a lot of truth along the way. And then you'll find out that people are literally in a fucking program. They're in a circuit of some nasty shit. And they have no idea that it's the same circuit as an alcoholic. They get up and chase that alcohol. And these people get up and chase that damn gadget in the world and whatever comes on it. Yeah, and it's sick. Because they just look at you. You are crazy. There's nothing wrong with these. Look at what the fuck it's done. Gadgets and shit's destroyed more than alcohol. And you know it too. You know, but it's... um, I'm right there with you. You know, because at the end of the day, don't feel like you're alone. That's the last thing you need to feel. Even though nobody's around you, you're not alone. I can tell you that. I'm with you. In spirit, I am. But there's also, too, your higher power sitting right there ready for you to unlock your higher power. And, and uh, dragging ass emotions, you know, feel like, like right now, I'm not alone. I know all this damn, we're going through winter. Everything's dead. Everything's fixing to get charged up. Damn, there's deer everywhere. You know, and seriously, all these trees and bushes and flowers, they reach for the sunlight. And you have to fucking reach for the light, too. You can't reach for light sitting inside on gadgets. That ain't gonna happen. You can't do it. Your eyes, you gotta let them adjust to shit and come out here and, you know, what little bit of... Uh, real air we got left because all that other shit's fake anyways but 
Uh, look, you get connected to all this and everything will go away. You'll see it and you'll fucking, like, literally want to be alone. Because <laughs> you'll just watch people. I did a video because I don't post a lot on Facebook anymore. And I said, I just don't, I've tried for years. I tried to tell y'all what was coming and get you prepared. And you just, the same way that y'all looked at me going, no, he just needs to quit drinking. And uh, it's just pathetic. He's just, that's how I feel towards them. The same they felt towards me. And I said, but I know you're not going to fucking listen because I knew I never listened. So the only way for me to do what I have to do is, is to get the fuck out of the way, not waste any energy putting anything on Facebook and let people mumble and shit. And although every fucking one of them has gotten closer to death. Well, yeah, of course, that's a five-year-old response. It's what we're saying. You know, people that are five years old can't put none of that shit together. So... a hell of a thing having I mean you know cause I've gave everything I've gotten and been ignored and I'm not talking about like in recovery or in shit there was a day in the old days to where you fucking showed your loyalty and worked hard you're gonna make it and, and acquire shit and well that doesn't happen no more no, dumb shits get to do shit. And it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. And that is more discouraging than anything. Is watching people. Like they felt like watching me during alcoholism or the world as they watch their others. Only to look at them now and say you are more ate the fuck up with possessions and materialism than you could ever possibly imagine an alcoholic has a problem. And now we need to help you. And that's the thing is, is they're like, you are fucking crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> you see all these gadgets? And I just fucking went and bought a Samsung speaker. Of course, it's a triangle. But it was a, a $500 speaker. And the speaker comes from stadiums and coliseums. But anyways, and but I had a discount because I've got Geek Squad and shit. Of course, you know... You buy all this shit for your children or you. It's like, you want all this shit together? It's 150 a year. It's well worth it and blah, blah, blah. It's like, sure. And then there's another fee and another fee. Oh, I'm broke. That, but that's how it's designed. It goes for anybody. Now I'm just fucking rambling about nothing, ain't I? But I mean, it's... um. It's an inside job. That's what they say in AA. And it's an inside job with God. You've got to go within. You know, and, and the whole thing is, is the world that you're seeking, that y'all are listening, the world that you are seeking, your true freedom is going to, it's going to come with a price. Okay? And it ain't going to be fucking pretty. It is not going to be pretty. There's no sense in trying to explain any fucking thing to anybody. They ain't going to listen. If you can hold that shit in like the Jesuits and just, you know, pretend, you're better off. But that's a lot of weight to hold in trying to get better. And knowing the truth and watching people act like they fucking have shit that ain't even real. It's a fantasy. It's a damn comic book is what people have. It's their lifestyle. It's a garbage Routine. It is disgusting to know that they have forced citizens to get up and force them to watch a TV. Here, this is all going tonight. Yeah, this is what happened. Yes. Oh God, there's flames and death, mercy. That's the design. That's the that's the slave control. It's crazy. And, and the people that make the fake money, all of it, think that it's like you ain't done nothing. It, the, look, the more money somebody makes, the dumber they are. It's the truth, too. And, and until you can get into rhythm... I remember being in rehab. One of the places didn't have TV and phones and shit, and they didn't want that. The, some of the directors wanted TVs in there, and I know why now. This is to keep them under fucking mind control. 
you know, but he, there's, um, even back then when I was in, uh, Victory Home, you know, we got up every morning. We didn't have TV or at night. And boy, going through that experience without having to be locked up was, was weird, you know. And that's when you can tell that, that, you know, that TV is part of you. Just like the alcohol is part of you. And we can't fucking give it up. It's because of the connection in the circuit charging us. Saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with this shit. And there he is. You know, so you, you, I mean, I got pulled over and ringoed one time in the middle of the night because me and somebody got in an argument and I just drove around and one of the cops pulled me over. Actually, I was just parked in a parking spot in the middle of downtown, just sitting there. He come up flashing the fucking flashlight and shit and I'm like, bro, listen, I've had a fight and I'm just driving around. Fight? What kind of fight? And I'm like, we've had words. So instead of me staying there, I left to cool down, but you're making me mad. And he was like, well, where's this? And I said, it ain't none of your fucking business. And then come to find out, you know, he's like, well, you're not drinking. I said, I just fucked, and they're not used to it either. Police are not used. They're, every now and then, but they're not used to seeing people with their shit together. You know. And because I said, bro, I'm, this is, I'm legally, and truthfully, he was young. But they don't even know. So, and even when you get jammed up, you've got to learn how to show humility with them too. Like, I mean, I've done it forever now because I respect them and they're my brothers just like all the people against them. You know, we have to work together, but it's they're taught wrong to begin with. The training should be there fucking 10 years before they even get a job. They should have been trained in school if they're going to do that shit at 10 years old and then it would be, you know, it'd be a lot better than what it is now and that would be with anything. Trade schools would still be there, but they're gone. We got a new era of dummies coming in. And those are the dummies with all the gadgets. Just watch them. That's the Arimonic intelligence. Artificial Arimonic intelligence. That's what it is. Just look at you and it's like their head, their brain is nothing but games. There's nothing but games in there. That's why. They just go do what they're supposed to do what they memorized is to say they've got the career and to make the fake money and then they go fuck off. That's it. Just go fuck off. Well, alcoholics do that too. So, anyways. I hope I didn't bore you too much because I did cool down. So, love you.